This is Guitar Chalk's list of top tube amp recommendations, which we measure by highest value, lowest possible price, at highest possible quality. All of our recommendations are based on personal experience from real musicians. Number one, the Marshall DSL Series Tube Heads. Since you have the two channels and tailored gain controls for each, the DSL-15H is completely accommodating for small rooms and practice environments. It can be louder if you want, able to handle mid-sized gigging venues when needed. Either way, you get the full effect of Marshall's tube-driven brain. Number two, the Bugara 522 combo. If you want or need a larger sized amp, the V22 Infinium is a lot bigger than most on this list. There's still only one 12 inch speaker, but it weighs just short of 55 pounds. Without a pedal, I don't like the V22's high gain settings for metal or hard rock. It's smooth and bluesy, but not heavy. If you like having the warmth and thickness of the clean sound, just add a distortion pedal and forego the gain knob on the V22. Number three, the Fender Blues Junior Combo Series. Fender tubes create a resonance and dynamic response that's sensitive to your pick or fingers, making a remarkable distinction between rhythm and lead. While blues and jazz players will find it the most appealing, it lays down a beautiful clean tone that can serve as a baseline for any style. We like it better for live performing than recording just because there's no line out Number four, the Hughes & Kettner Tubemeister series. While designed to be portable, the Hughes & Kettner Tubemeister Deluxe 20 offers a lot more than mobile convenience. Its sound quality is particularly strong with high gain levels, especially since its clean tones tend to get a little gritty on even moderate gain and volume settings. The differences between the Deluxe 20 and other heads like the Tubemeister 40 Black Spirit 200 is primarily wattage and the number of channels. Number five, the Vox AC series. With a rich history behind its brand, Vox does an exceptionally good job of creating low cost amplifiers that maintain the richness and warmth of the Vox tone. Cost cutting is done by bringing down wattage and size, including only one speaker and simplifying the EQ. Number six, Blackstar's HT series, specifically the HT5R. Blackstar, as a brand, consistently does a good job producing affordable metal-friendly amps. This particular model gives you a more thorough control scheme than its predecessor, the HT1. Moreover, it includes the familiar three-band EQ along with an ISF switch which functions similar to an American slash British style control. The combo amps from the Blackstar HT series are ideal for metal, modern rock, or anytime you want high gain directly from your amplifier. The distortion sounds great. We know that recommending tube amps and guitar gear will have an element of subjectivity to it, which is why we've made our best efforts to be objective and accurate when examining these amps. We want to recommend amps that will be the most ideal for the largest number of people. As such, your situation could be different, so make sure you take this as general direction with a grain of salt. If you have questions about the process or the amps in this list, leave them in the comments below and we'll chat.